Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video we will be doing a pattern haul. So it's been quite some time since I did a pattern haul. Um, I have not been liking any of the patterns that Simplicity, McCall's, Butterick have put out towards the end of 2020. So this is my first pattern haul for 2021. So the one that I'm doing today will be McCall's Patterns. McCall's Patterns are on sale at Joann's from Thursday, February 11th through Sunday, which is tomorrow, Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2021. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So the first pattern that I picked up is McCall's 8140. And I like this uh, pattern for view A and view B. Now, because I stay in Orlando, I would be doing it in view A. So I do like it for view A. So when I sell this pattern, that's the view that I will be doing. So once again, this pattern is McCall's 8140. And because they do the hashtag, this is hashtag Parker McCall's. The next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8141. And I love every single view on this dress, but I would do this as a holiday dress and do view B on this pattern. And this is McCall's Ash Store McCall's on this one for the hashtag. And this is McCall's 8141. Once again, I would do view B as a holiday dress. The next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8146. This is the line art for, because I know some people like to see the line art, so I'm gonna put the line art up as well for most of these. Um, this is Myrtle McCall's on this pattern. And for me, because I have been doing a lot of statement sleeves lately, so for me, I would do view B or view C on this pattern. So that's this is view B and this is view C. And these are the two that I would plan on doing for this pattern. And this pattern is McCall's 8146. The next pattern I picked up is one of my favorites. I love it. I would do view B or C on this pattern. This is McCall's 8147. This is the line art for it. And um, this is the Wavery McCall's pattern. On this one, this is McCall's 8147. The next pattern I picked up is a Learn to Sew pattern. This is McCall's 8148. Um, on this pattern, I would do view A, B, and C on this pattern. Um, this is the Mercer McCall's pattern, and this is Simplicity 8148. For me, I think I would do the short, and that would be view A on this pattern. The next pattern I picked up, I love this uh, skirt. It is McCall's 8149. For me, I would do view A or view B. I like the um, zipper. Um, button up, the, not the button up, the, but the zipper front as well as your regular classic um, skirt, denim skirt. Um, fabric options will be twill, denim, or velvet. For me, I would use a denim, um, and this is an average pattern. So the, here's the line art for it, and I'll also put it up. And this is the Sterling McCall's pattern, and this is McCall's 8149. Next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8151. This is the Carol McCall's pattern. And when I seen this, I really was not feeling it, but I went ahead and got it because I see many different things that you could do with this uh, skirt because this is, could just be your basic block for a skirt and you could add many different elements to it. So it's best to look at the line art when you're choosing your pattern. So I would do this for view A on this pattern. And this is just, like I said, a normal skirt. Um, I probably have another skirt that's similar to this pattern, but this is McCall's 8151. Next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8152. This is Pearl McCall's pattern. So I seen it for what the model is uh, wearing, view A and view C. So when I get around to doing this pattern, this is what I would be doing is view A and view C, and I would probably use a Shantong fabric or a poplin fabric as it suggests in the pattern. The next one I picked up is Simplicity, I'm sorry, McCall's 8154. I don't know if Simplicity was on my mind, but I did not get to pick them up. 
So I'm doing McCall's. So McCall's 8154. This is a uh, Bowery or Bowie, Bowery or Bowery, depending on where you're from. Uh, McCall's pattern. It's a jumpsuit pattern. I like it for view A and view C. I'm not really feeling what the model has on view B, no shade. Um, but I would do it for view A or view C on this pattern. And for me, I would probably use a cotton blend fabric or an Ankara print fabric or maybe a twill um, on the jumpsuit. I'm not sure yet. So when I get around to this pattern, I would uh, do it in one of those fabrics. And this is McCall's 8154. Next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8155. So listen, I love this jacket and a uh, vest pattern. I would do it for view A and view B. View C is just not um, one that I would do for myself. Um, but I would do view A or view B on the pattern. This is the Brighton McCall's pattern. And this is McCall's 8155. So the last set of patterns I love as well. This is the first one is McCall's 8174. This is a dress. Um, Brittany J. Jones just made this one. And I think she did view C with the little slit. Sexy. Yes, yes, yes. But for me, I stay where it's hot uh, most of the time in Orlando, Florida. So I would do it, do probably view B on this dress. And of course, I would probably use some Ponty knit or cotton knit or ITY knit in order to create that dress. So uh, my option would be view B, and this is the Brandy McCall's pattern, and it's McCall's 8174. The next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8175. This is the Vanessa McCall's pattern. I like it for view A, B, and C, but the one that I would do is view C, but have the length of view B. Um, so um, that's what I like. You can make this separate and you can make it as a dress. Me, I would make this as a dress. Um, that's what I would do with this, but this is the Vanessa McCall's and it's McCall's 8175. The next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8176. This is the Jessica McCall's pattern. So when I've seen this pattern, I like every single view on this pattern. But what really drew me towards this pattern is actually what the model have on is view A. I don't know what's up with these long sleeves for early spring patterns, but I would do view B on this pattern when I get around to doing this pattern. And I think for me, I would probably do it in a cotton fabric or a brocade fabric. I'm not sure yet. I have some brocade in my stash right now. Um, and I have a lot of Ankara print I need to go through. So I'm not sure which one I would do, but I would do view B for that pattern. And this is McCall's 8176. Next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8177. This is the Ashley McCall's pattern. So I seen it for view C because I do not have something very drapey and long like that. This is a dress, but it's too long for me for view C. So I would still do view C and chop it all the way up to knee length um, because that's what I'm comfortable with. I like view C, but I also like view A on this pattern. So those will be one of the two views that I would do on this pattern. And I would definitely make it in like a print, a cotton or a car print or something of that sort. Um, but that's what I would do with this pattern. And this is McCall's 8177. Next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8178. And this is a nice, lovely dress as well. I like what the model have on, which is view C, which is another long sleeve dress. However, I would do view A on this pattern. Um, if I decide to do view C, it would be fall winter time um, to add some sleeves in. But I would of course do it in a cotton fabric and this is the Lauren McCall's pattern. And this pattern number is McCall's 8178. Next pattern I picked up is McCall's 8179. <laughs> I like view C and view B, but I really got it for view C. This is the Allison McCall's pattern, and this pattern number is McCall's 8179. So this one is one of the ones that I really, really wanted to get, and I was glad that it was in my size. So this is McCall's 8181. This is the Jennifer McCall's pattern. I like every single view on this pattern, but what really drew me to this pattern is what the model is wearing, if you see. 
I will not do any other view except for view C. And I would probably make this um, towards the fall time. I would probably do this top by then. Um, I'm not sure if I would have enough time to squeeze it in during the springtime, but we'll see. You never know. Um, I might be able to carve out some time. It's only 13 pieces for this um, fabric, but however, it does say lining fabric on the back. But if I do this, I would not line it uh, because I would use a thick enough fabric to where I would not have to line the fabric and make it very heavy. So um, I would do view C on this pattern. This is the Jennifer McCall's pattern and this is McCall's 8181. And the last pattern I picked up is one of my faves. Um, this is McCall's 8183. This is the Valerie McCall's pattern. And of course I would do view B on this pattern. Um, I would probably use a crepe or a satin or suiting, not satin, but, but uh, suiting fabric in order to create this jumpsuit. Once again, this is the Valerie McCall's pattern and it's McCall's 8183. Well, that's all the patterns that I picked up from Joann's for the early spring McCall's patterns of 2021. So like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep sewing.